So I am here today to do a tag video. I don't do these very often so it's quite exciting and this one is the Mistborn book tag which was created by Connor whose channel I will link down below and I was actually tagged by Connor himself and also by Mercedes so I'm very behind. I needed to get to this sooner clearly because multiple people have tagged me but I will link both of their channels down below so you guys can check them out because they're both amazing people and I love them both and they are just awesome so definitely check them out. This is based on the three Mistborn books, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension and Hero of Ages. If you've not read them basically it surrounds the idea that in the Mistborn books the magic system is all based on metals and you basically get these little vials of metals and you can drink them and you can use the metal to have certain powers. So certain metals will give you a certain power. For example, iron will give you the ability to pull metal towards you and steel gives you the ability to push it away, etc, etc. So all of these questions are based on those books. So let's get started. Number one is iron. Name a book that pulled you in because of the cover. For me, I have two options for this one. I have Uprooted by Naomi Novik, which is a new one that I just bought and it's so so beautiful as you guys can see it's literally just absolutely stunning and the whole cover is actually really really beautiful including the spine and the back cover and then if you take off the dust jacket it's even more beautiful because inside it's got these absolutely lovely sort of purpley tree outlines and the cover itself is like beautiful mint green and it's just absolutely beautiful so yeah I, I really 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 love the look of this one and it's sounds like it's going to be amazing as well. It looks amazing so hopefully it will be amazing and then everything will be wonderful. So that's my choice for that one although I do have another one as well. My other choice is the Lotus War series by Jay Kristoff. These editions which is Storm Dancer is the first one and Kin Slayer is the second one. Both of these are absolutely beautiful and I bought them because of the cover. Well I bought the first one because of the cover. The story sounded okay but I'd heard not very much about it. I also absolutely loved them both. I gave the first one four stars and the second one five and I think the third one I gave five as well but I don't have the hardback edition of that one yet. I'm planning to get it when it comes out in the UK and it's just absolutely beautiful. Again it's very very pretty all the way around. The spine is beautiful and the back cover is also beautiful. So the whole thing is just very very stunning. It's this very light sort of lilac colour um, inside it's got red end papers. The book itself is just black I'm afraid so there's nothing too exciting to that book but the outside is definitely really really stunning and I love it and I think it's one of the most beautiful books and the whole series continues like that. As you can see the Kinslayer one is very very similar in theme and again it's just absolutely beautiful the whole way round so those would be my choices for that one although there are many 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 more that I could list as well. Number two is Steel which is name a book that pushed you to be a better person so I chose The Diary of Anne Frank which is by Anne Frank obviously it's, it's an actual historical record of her diary that she kept during the war the world war and she was a Jew who had to go into hiding and it's just really emotional and really heartwarming and sad and devastating all at once and I came away from this book seeing how fragile life is and how horrible the things that she had to deal with were and the way that society was back at that time, how devastatingly horrible that was and I think that this book and just reading this book and having an understanding of how horrible it was to be a Jew back in those times and to live in hiding and have to completely destroy your whole livelihood and life because you've gone into hiding and you've just got to depend on other people and all of this really sad devastating stuff so it was a really heartfelt and very sad read for me but it definitely pushes me to want to be a better person and make the most of what I have and enjoy the fact that we're not living in the middle of a world war and I'm so happy about that so yeah this is a book I would highly recommend to anyone and everyone if you've not read it it's amazing and I love it. Also if anyone has any other sort of books in the same vein as this then let me know because I've not read many others that I would compare to this but I would love to read some more about different countries, different people, whatever but yeah that sort of thing would be amazing so if anyone has any recommendations let me know. Number three is Tin and this one is to name a book 
or a series that you sensed the ending before you got to it but you still really really loved it and I'm gonna copy Mercedes on this one she said the Ketty J series by Chris Wooding and I would second her on that we both read it together so it makes sense that we both kind of worked out the ending before it happened but I absolutely love the series. I gave them all five stars. They are all amazing. The covers of these ones are very pretty as well. I really like this cover. I think it's very, very beautiful. The airship and stuff. So that's lovely. The whole series has some phenomenal characters and just a great storyline for most of the books. So I really, really enjoyed these and I would highly recommend them if you guys have not checked them out. They are super fun. Number four is Pewter. Name a book that made you physically stronger for holding it up whilst you were reading reading it or in our case YouTubers reviewing it because I hold up all the books whilst I'm reviewing them and I have two for this. First one I have is Ship of Destiny which is by Robin Hobb. This one is the third one in the Live Ship Traders and as you guys can see it's a very chunky hardback. It's a big one. It's very heavy but it's not my biggest one. This is my second biggest although Ruin might actually have overtaken this, but I've not read Ruin yet. But this one is 700-ish pages, so it's a pretty chunky one and it's a heavy one. But my heaviest one is not this one, it is... Yay! Words of Radiance, the even bigger one! This one is like a thousand pages! Yeah, over a thousand pages and it is ginormous, it is huge, it is massive, I love it, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful book. But it is so heavy, as you can see, I'm like struggling already to hold it up. But yeah, it's super heavy and I did actually read this one, most of it, in the book. It was an amazing book. So both of those are amazing, amazing. I know I keep saying amazing, but all of these books are just fabulous. And I absolutely love this one and Ship of Destiny. So again, two more series to definitely get on with reading if you've not already. Number five is Brass. Name a book that made you feel numb after reading it. I struggled a bit with this one because I don't usually feel numb after reading a book but I'm gonna say The Heir of Novron which is by Michael J Sullivan and this is the third one in the Riaria Revelations books and I just was blown away and shocked and in awe of this book when I finished it. So I wasn't numb, but I was definitely in shock, which is kind of the same, I guess. I was just in shock about so many things happening that I hadn't anticipated, but I absolutely adored. So many things that were just revealed at the last moment that were amazing and so well done and all the back work and groundwork had been laid, but I just hadn't picked up on all the clues and then it all made sense and everything was perfect and I loved it. So yeah, this one definitely made me like, kind of feel numb or in awe of the book and in awe of Michael J. Sullivan's writing so yeah love this. Six is Zinc. Name a book that made you feel angry. For me I'm gonna choose Bonjour Tristesse which I only just read. It didn't make me angry at the book but the characters made me so annoyed with them because they just were idiots all of them. I felt like the main character Cecile did not know anything and she was just really dumb and she's supposed to be like 17, 18 and honestly she's one of the most dumb 17 or 18 year olds that I've ever encountered. She just does some really stupid and very vindictive and nasty stuff to her family and she tries to ruin things for her dad a lot and it's just really nasty. This is a classic which is something I don't often read and unfortunately it's an author that I probably won't read any more from because I just did not like the characters at all. They just sucked in my opinion. They really sucked. So yeah, this one did make me quite angry in that I thought all the characters were complete idiots and airheads and did not have any knowledge of anything besides themselves and their own sort of personas and uh, it was just frustrating. I did not like this. I only gave this one star, so I would not recommend this one. Number seven is Copper, and this one is to name a character or a book where a character has to keep a secret, otherwise something terrible is going to happen. And for this one, I chose the Farsia books, which are the first books in the Elderlings series by Robin Hobb, so if you want to start reading it, this is a good place to begin. In the first one, Assassin's Apprentice, we find out that our main character Fitz has this affinity or magic which is called the wit, and basically he can talk to animals using this, but it is a very feared power. People in this world have a massive fear of anyone who can use the wit and they think it's cursed, so he has to keep this a secret, otherwise he's going to probably get killed for it because it is that severe if you are found out to have the wit and he has to keep that secret throughout all of these books so 
that would be that one. Number eight is bronze, and for this one you have to name a book that you've heard a lot about but you have yet to pick up. For this one I chose Beyond the Shadows, which is by Brent Weeks. This is the third and final one in the Night Angel trilogy by him, and I've heard so many good things about this. Everyone says that the ending is just so dramatic and so much better than the first and second book, which is just awesome because I absolutely love the first and the second one, so I'm thinking this will be just mind-blowing and I definitely cannot wait to get to it. I've heard so many good things, so many people I trust and know have recommended that I get to it soon, so I really, really need to get on that, and I definitely intend to do so very, very soon, hopefully in the next month or so. I know I've said that many times, but I really, really do want to read it. I just haven't had the time, so it will happen very soon, though. I know I'm gonna love it when I get to it. And finally, number nine, which is the mystery metal. And the question for this one is, a book that is so great it destroys all others. And I have loads and loads and loads of different favourite books and favourite authors, but one that I've read recently that I absolutely adored and just is my current favourite book of all time. So many others could be that position, but at the moment this one is my most recent one to fulfil that position. This is The Mad Ship by Robin Hobb, and it is the second one in the Live Ship Traders. I felt like this was the best one in my opinion. I just absolutely loved it. From the halfway point onwards, every chapter had a revelation or a big, exciting or dramatic moment that just captivated me. I did not want to put it down. I read this in like three days, and it's a pretty chunky book, so that's impressive. And we were doing a buddy read of it, and so many things from this series tied back into the Farsia books, and it was just magical, amazing, mind-blowing, so so good. It was just honestly one of the best books I've ever read in my whole life and I would highly 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 recommend this series and all of Robin Hobb's stuff to you guys. So yeah, this was amazing and I absolutely loved it. Those are all of the books that I have for the Mistborn tag. I don't know who else to tag so I'm just gonna leave it as an open invitation. If you guys want to do this tag, please feel free to do it and I would definitely love to know all of your ideas and what you would put as the answers to these questions so if you do the video then definitely link it to me. Also if you have anything to say about any of the books that I mentioned please do so because I always love to hear your thoughts. Thank you Connor for creating it and Mercedes for tagging me as well as Connor and I will see you all soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little